For a couple of years now, Adobe's been sneak peeking the concept of social learning built into Adobe Captivate Prime, Adobe's learning management system. And, you know, I've been very excited, very interested in what that feature is going to look like. Well, you know, I finally decided to take a look at it. It's recently been made available. And uh, I thought I would go into my trial version of Adobe Captivate Prime um, and turn this feature on and explore it and share that with all of you. So I'm logged in right now as an administrator and I've clicked on manage and the first option here, social learning. And we've gone into the settings here and all I need to do is turn this on. There is a confirmation required. There's just sort of a, um, you know, just a, a bit of a warning message here. We're going to hit proceed. And once it's turned on, uh, we can do a couple of things. So right off the bat, we can put some restrictions on uh, content curation. So uh, right now I'm going to leave it for no curation. But if you wanted to limit curation only to subject matter experts, you certainly could do that here. Uh, also, too, is that you can get into the scope settings. I haven't set this up yet. I'm not really entirely sure uh, what the what the benefit of this is yet, but you could limit the scope of social learning to certain uh, user characteristics within your group. And uh, if that was set up, you could certainly apply that here. Um, also here uh, is the download configuration for um, local copies of the Prime for Desktop. And you can go in there and change it uh, from the Adobe servers to enterprise service servers, or you could even disable downloads for learners. And uh, conveniently, here are links for the Mac build as well as the Windows build if you need them. So I'm going to hit cancel here. Once this is enabled, um, administrators will have access to a page that will look something like this. It'll probably have a little bit more information than what I have here but it will give you some data about the activity of social learning and the informal learning that's occurring on your LMS. So, you know, for example, you'll be able to see trends, you know, how many new boards are created, uh, how many people are posting, and of course, what skills that they're promoting. I haven't really set up any skills for this particular LMS. So I'm going to switch now from being an administrator to a learner to see what the learner experience is like for social learning. So once logged in as a learner, you'll see that you have an icon for social learning over on your menu bar on the left. If I click on that, you'll see that you'll come to the social learning page and you can start very simply by creating a new post. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to write something here. Here is the first entry in a new discussion group on LMS tech, right? And uh, we can create a new board. We can call this discussion board LMS tech. You could put a description here, uh, the latest conversation about learning management systems and um, skills of course if you set up um, certain skills you could select those here and essentially uh, participation in this social learning will contribute to that particular skill set if you'd like to assign uh, a moderator you can do so there we go so i've uh, added myself as a moderator and you can choose the visibility of this discussion board, whether it be public, private, restricted, uh, restricted being uh, only available to certain uh, moderators, private being visible to only selected users. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create this new board. And one of the cool things is that you already have uh, some gamification turned on for social learning, which, you know, is kind of cool. So uh, people can earn points and, you know, what you decide to do with those points is entirely up to you. But uh, in this case here, you can give people uh, a bit of a competitive reason to participate more in the social learning features. I'm just going to click on awesome at this point. So I've created my first discussion board and that's cool. 
But where I think this really is going to take off for you, where I think this is going to be really interesting, is the ability to share external content as well. So here you have this uh, share to social bookmark that you can add to your Chrome bookmark bar. You just grab this and bring it up to your bookmark bar. And then you can proceed to uh, navigate to some other site where you might find some interesting articles to share with your colleagues. Like, for example, uh, if we're talking about LMS technologies, uh, you know, we might want to talk about uh, some of the articles that are on the Adobe eLearning community. Here's an example from uh, Katrina Baker, an article about five ways to promote training team productivity using your email application. I'll have to definitely read that later. But in the meantime, I'm going to share it with my fellow LMS users uh, that participate in this particular discussion board. So I'm going to click on the Captivate Prime bookmark that I've got here. And you're going to see this pop up, which then becomes sort of like a sidebar in your current browser window. And, you know, you can add a comment like, hey, guys, found this great article from Katrina that I thought you might like. And we can then, of course, go down to the discussion board and uh, select that discussion board I just created, LMS Tech, and now post this to uh, the learning management system. Hey, I get five more points. Let's go to the post and see what that looks like. We're back into uh, my LMS here, and we can see my comments there and a link as well as a preview of this particular social learning item that I've shared within this discussion board. And of course, I can add my comments, you know, thanks, Paul. That's really great. And off that goes, you know, so all of these comments and uh, shared items are shared within the group. So what's really cool, if your organization is trying to become more of a learning culture based organization. This will really contribute to that. And it will also contribute to informal learning, which quite frankly, a lot of organizations um, could really benefit by, you know, the, uh, the different users uh, sharing knowledge with one another um, definitely contributes to that learning culture within an organization. So, um, you know, if you're thinking about a new LMS, and uh, you're looking for something that may be a little bit different than what you've seen before, um, a Captivate Prime definitely gives you some really cool features that, you know, can really empower your users. So check it out. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com, follow me on Twitter at CaptivateTeacher, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.